And I seen the dude come through, his whole head was leaking, like stupid blood, like so I had a bandage on his head. Being 17, like you told a crazy story I want to ask you, right? So one of my, the, the one that caught my attention that was crazy was I think the first time you hit Rikers Island. We was 17, we still on the 17 wave. Now, when you know what I, the first time I hit Rikers Island, I was 16. Oh, you were 16? Yeah. All right, all right, my fault. So you were 16. Now this the one when um you talked about how to pop the bulletproof kid, you know what I mean? Remember you were saying how the bulletproof kid in the, um. Yeah. What was it? And the, and the Spanish dudes in the back was wild. He was violating. And they had. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your face. It's like you reliving it. Like, yeah, they, like. <laughs> but all right. right. So was it the bulletproof? Because in the video, you said, like, yo, they was violating. Like, they was ripping up paper, throwing fake dollars, making dudes dance. But, and, and, but dudes was busting suds. Now they so was it the bulletproof kid that because I didn't understand was it the bulletproof kid that was back there dancing too? Because you said the Spanish dudes was violating. No, no, no. The bulletproof kid was one of the dudes making dudes dance. Oh you feel me? Oh. Yeah, he was he was with I think someone was Colombian. You heard? Oh, wow, yeah. He was, he was he was he was he was one of the and like I said, he didn't speak too much English at all. Huh. You heard? Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. little English, but he was one of the dudes making dudes dance and stuff and other crazy stuff. You heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, that one was. If y'all ain't checked that story out, yo, y'all gotta check that one. It's last. It's uh, Rikers Island. Uh, our Lincoln. That one was crazy. He was like a yeah. bulletproof kid. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, too, now that I remember, I think the dance that was out was the bogle. You heard? Or the butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> that shit ain't even funny, man. Cause that was my bro. One of my bros. The dude that was washing the clothes, you know what I mean? Like we was cool, son, and he was one of them dudes that was dancing naked and all of that. You heard? So no, like, you know, the dude uh, who you used to talk to. Yeah, they had son dancing naked and all that. But like I said, you know, that's the, I mean, you know, that's messed <laughs> up because dude, some dudes they not they was a little they was scared. You feel what I'm saying? And it's yeah. like who knows? Some might be a killer now. You feel what I'm saying? Like I know dudes that was that now. They, you ain't doing none of that to them. You feel me? So all we know, he could be a kingpin and a killer now. But yeah, he was. They was, they was doing a butterfly and all of that. Girl. Oh man, so, so I used to be like, not me. In the video, he was like, not me, never, nah, not nah, me, nah. never nah, me. I would have been a dead body before I did that. Like, yo, ain't but that I, much. I, all right, so that's why I be telling, you feel me? A lot of times to the youth, you know what I mean? If y any of y'all watching this, that's why I say a lot of times when you're young, you don't realize the amount of time you could be facing behind doing crimes, especially when you're young. So I try to push that to y'all and let y'all know, like, listen, a robbery is a five minute and not even a 30 second thing. And you could be playing Grand Theft Auto out here, but you be facing 10, 15 years behind getting a, a cell phone and two, three hundred dollars. And then you wind up in places like this where you got people that's you like, yo, and then you got to either, you know what I'm saying? But come on, you, you got to to survive. You got to be willing to, you know what I'm saying? Get violent, really. That's just what it is. Or people that's fold is what you're saying. And that's just the youth house. That I will Rikers Island, uh, I guess adolescence is uh, in New York, what it is. But now nah, that story was just crazy because it was like, um, now, I mean, I ain't gonna get into the other part. The other part, I was like, what? And you was just like, yeah, violating. Like when you said son had son jerking meat, mm -hmm. pause, now I mean, mm -hmm. I was like, what? Like, nah, mm -hmm. son. I saw, that. I saw that, I saw that, man. I saw a dude make a dude jerk him off, man, while he was looking. I can't remember what he was looking at. He was looking at some pictures or a magazine. I can't remember, but I know he made a dude jerk him off while he was while he was looking at things. Like, you know what I mean? Yo. That shit was next level. And y'all was, was in like dorms? Like this was in the dorm, right? Yeah, we was in like a 50 man dorm where it's like just like a bunch of beds on one side, a bunch of beds on the other side, and then beds in the middle. Mm. So it was like 50 beds. Oh, that's crazy, son. So I uh, you feel like it's, it's it's which one you feel like is more dangerous, the dorms or in the cells? I mean, they both could be dangerous, but you know, them dorms, you gotta go to sleep around people. So yeah. you gotta you gotta you gotta have a team like people sleep in sections like the Spanish dudes we sleeping with us with together, you feel me? Like mm -hmm. getting to sleep in, di in different sections, like because you sleep, man. You feel me? You sleep. Yeah, yeah. And do it. I told I'm about to tell another story that I forgot about C74, but like 
when I first came through C74, um, as soon as I came through, I had seen the dude come through. Like I'm sitting in the, in the clinic and I seen the dude come through, his whole head was leaking, like stupid mm. blood. Like so I had a bandage on his head, you feel me? And and he seen some kid that was sitting in intake with me. He like, oh, yo, son, what up, son? Yo, I ain't see you in a minute. What's up with your sister and all of that, all that good stuff? I don't know if I told this already, but you know what I mean, son head was leaking crazy. So the kid, the kid was like, yo, son, what happened to your head? Like, you know what I mean, son was like, oh, this? He like, yo, I was, yo, she ain't, it ain't nothing, son. I was in, I was in a dorm sleep and dude sent the doja at me and stabs. The dude came up and started stabbing me in my head while I was asleep. He said, but it ain't nothing. Bro, I'm about to get this stitched up. I'm going to go back to the dorm. I'm going to cut like two, three of them dudes. You heard? But yo, what's up with your sister? I mean, how your sister? I'm like, this dude head leaking with a bandage on his head talking about he was sleeping. Dude stabbed him in his head and he acting like it ain't nothing. You understand what I'm saying? He worried about the dude's sister. So I was like, yo, this is where they sending me, bro, where a dorm where I'm going to have to be sleeping. Dude stabbing dudes in the head, pause. Yo, it's crazy. Yeah, that, that, yeah, mm-hmm. that sound, and it sounded like it was normal to him too. Like it was like, ah, this is regular. I'm gonna go back. Exactly. That was what was scary. It was too normal. Like he totally forgot his head was leaking. Pause. He yeah. like this. You feel me? I'm like, nah, man. Where they sending me? I was hoping they sent me to a cell house. When I heard that, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah. yeah, that it definitely sounds crazy. Like, like you can't eat. You know what I mean, you. Gotta you gotta stay on point when in your sleep, like you can't even get some sleep. Like yeah, you know, C74 is adolescence, man. So you know, dude's 16, 17 years old, dudes do dudes still young and crazy and immature. So dudes doing all type of crazy stuff. They were setting people on fire, all of that, man. Is they done set people on fire and kill people by mistake on Rikers Island playing games, wrapping dudes whole legs up with tissue while they sleep. Like dudes would do stuff like that, like for jokes. In the middle of the night, dudes are rapping, do whole legs up the tissue and then light it on fire. And some dudes burnt up by mistake and died like that. Real talk. Oh, so just a bunch of, so you said they just bored, bunch of kids locked up still. Yeah. Right. Like dudes, just be doing, dudes just be doing like, you know, stuff on the late night for jokes. Like yeah. dudes just to do stuff like, dudes just to do stuff like, um, while dude asleep, they'll, they'll just pour mad toothpaste in his hand, mad toothpaste, fill his whole hand up with even toothpaste and shampoo or both, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And then dudes will tickle his ear. Dudes will tickle his ear while he sleep, and a dude just be like this in his sleep. Yeah. Dude just smash whole, smash his whole face with toothpaste in his sleep. Oh, Dawn be laughing, whoever's up be laughing. laughing. He's up half sleep, he gotta go to the joint, so I done seen dudes put a dead mouse on a dude's face, bro. My man, ah. my same dude, the same dude who I told you we popped off in the mess hall because they tried to, like, my man came in the mess hall walking mad tough and they had to be at the pop off and start to ride in the mess hall. My same dude, a, a new kid that came in, he was asleep. Niggas, dudes had a dead mouse on a string playing around with it. You heard? Like, it was yeah. walking in like a pet. Son, niggas just put that on son's face while he was asleep. Real talk. He ain't even know. Police woke him up like, yo, go wash your face. He's like, what happened? She's like, yo, just go wash your face. And the funny thing is, the chick that I, that, that was the CO chick that was there that told him to wake up and wash his face, she a captain on the island now because I was watching some newer video and they yeah. were showing her she a captain. Crazy. Uh, yeah, that is crazy, bro. What, uh, yo, speaking of people, I guess captains and stuff, you ever seen the dude, um, the, the infamous Bailey? Was he there when you was in there? I think son was there. I, listen, in, in C-74, bro, bailing people out the bing was a common practice. I don't wow. know if they think that it was just him that was doing it, bail out Bailey. But if it was just him, then I definitely seen son because bailing people out the bing was just a normal, everyday thing on Rikers Island. Like, dudes be sending kites from the bing all the time. Yo, son, my bail is four bangers. Get me out of here. And dudes would get those bangers up and get their mans out. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>